Folks, welcome back. I am the one, the only. I am a hobo, Tom. And you know what? I finally got a chance to at least start this video. So this will probably be a two-day project. I'm still trying to get my AAA video unblocked. For some reason, they don't want to do their job over there at YouTube. I'm very, very upset with them. I'm not happy. But I'm not here to talk about this. As you can tell by the pictures, by the thumbnail I posted. A week ago. <laughs> yeah, a little more than a week ago, about 10 days ago. I managed to get to WWE Raw here in Orlando. And I'll tell you what. It was good. Um, the big takeaway from Raw, at least live. Oh, I didn't want to feel like some... We'll sprinkle some stuff. Need some sugar. You know, power through this. Is that say what you will about WWE Creative, their talent, the front office, even Vince McMahon himself. The production value for at least that Raw I went to was utterly amazing as you will see and hear in the videos. Now, um, I was shocked. When I went to the Amway Center, the parking garage was full. I cannot remember a time even for minor league hockey games or anything else that parking garage was full, and I had to go park in a parking lot. I was shocked. I'm like, oh my my. So that wasn't bad. The parking actually was pretty accessible. It was easy to get to, easy easy to get out. I think once I followed the guy's instruction, I, and I still have my parking tab somewhere. You know, sure, that just doesn't invent parking. It's a basic, very, very basic tab. But still, the parking was easy. Five-minute walk to get in. The security progress sucks. Because you never know what to put where. They're not necessarily clear. And after a while, they're like, yeah, just, just, just come on through. Like, you obviously don't have anything. Like, here, it's like, oh, it's your cell phone setting it off. I'm like, what do you want me to do about it? So who knows? Um, the parking was easy, and the lot was easy. The production value was amazing. The stadium, for the most part, was full. Uh, e even in the upper section, I think where I was, there were like a few empty seats around me. But again, as you can tell in the picture, that was up there. So yeah, I mean. It was, for the most part, even taking a look around, I think more so because I had limited view seats. I couldn't see the wrestlers come right out onto the ramp. I mean, I couldn't see them walk down the ramp. I just couldn't see, like, their initial pop on the ramp. But that's okay. For the 25 bucks I paid, more than worth it. And thank you, Amway Center. I applaud you, though. 
you let, you let people buy tickets at the venue, which saves me a pile of money. Unlike stupid AEW. Again. I'm having second thoughts about AEW. They were good, but now they're just doing a lot of weird stuff. And the live experience is completely different. The crowds are completely different, too. I like the, the WWE crowd. They're not as friendly. They're a lot calmer, though. They're more, this is a family-friendly event. Let's keep it that way. I mean, it may, it, it just, it, it's a whole different feel to it. And I wanted to get this done, just in case I get my 90 day suspension. It's just showing up soon. I don't know. YouTube, WWE, YouTube's doing all weird stuff. Eventually, I might be leaving YouTube and restarting all over again on Twitch. And or trying to find the next Wild West place. That's what I need. Um, so it's good. Um, they had some, again, of course, they had the basic introduction. Warning, don't do anything stupid. You'll be kicked out. Uh, that probably applies more so towards an AEW crowd than WWE crowd. That was good. So it starts off the dark matches. Um, main event. Uh, I have no idea who this was. It was, oh, bask in his glory. Keith Lee versus some jobber. expected yeah Keith Lee won I mean squash match With that being said you know what Keith Lee should be having squash matches for dark matches can't complain it's a ham. This is a ham sandwich match. Next, we had Aaliyah taking on Dakota Kai, and I'm like, huh? And next, see on main event, I was shocked. Uh, it was a, it was a it start off. So yeah, it was Aaliyah versus Dakota Kai.
Yeah, I'm trying to get my timing down. So that so that way it's a lot easier. Ooh, there we go. It's not too bad. It's ass. It's kind of covered up. Um, so they trade arm drags. Um, Aaliyah. Aaliyah's being the heel for some reason. Did the hair pull neck breaker. That was pretty cool. This was very much so an NXT style match. It was fun. Uh, there was like a the Canadian backstabber. That was pretty sweet. Again, Aaliyah was actually pretty good. I mean, the Northern Lights Bridging Suplex, I'll never, ever complain about that. Dakota Kai got, got, got her licks in, but then, in like the surprise, and I, I was really shocked. And I've heard things that um, NXT's going, uh, uh, NXT's going to be going back to its, its uh, th three tape shows in one sitting. And they might be true, because I was shocked. But I, I don't know if they're moving Aaliyah up, but... They jobbed out Dakota Kai. I was shocked. Aaliyah won a match. I've never seen Aaliyah win. Even as a heel in NXT against all those people so, so many years ago. I'll tell you what. For that, just, for the, just for the shock value alone, it's a cheeseburger match. Let's see it. Since I move that mic, let's move that volume. There we go. And then they tease a little bit of a raw, but again, so much more professional feeling. I, I really can't stress that enough. Again, it is part of this title. Then we had Austin Theory versus Odyssey Jones. This was pretty good. Uh, Jones. Is def um, Odyssey Jones is definitely going to be the um, new man's Mark Henry. And he has the gear all tricked out. Um, Austin is still trimmed out gold. <laughs> Again, just a new Mark Henry. This, this was pretty good. Um, for, for this, you know what? Yeah, this, again, Odyssey Jones versus Austin Theory.
I have to get my, my beats down better. But I am learning. It's been, it's been a while. It's been a whole year since I've had to do these videos, so bear with me, folks. Yeah, this was good, though. Um, obviously, Odyssey Jones is going to be the big power guy. Austin Theory, he's going to be faster. He's going to be more maneuverable. He's going to be a little bit quicker on his feet. A little quicker thinking. He's a savvy... Now Austin Theory is a savvy ring vet. Um, I'll tell you what. I, it was so good. You can always tell it's a good match when I'm more vested in the match than actually taking notes in my little notebook. So, Odyssey Jones eventually did win. Again, uh, kind of with like the big splash. The big power slam. Again, very Mark Henry-ish match. Solid cheeseburger match. And again, for the whole dark or main event, whatever you want to call it, um, besides just a squash match, you have to call a squash match like it is. It's always going to be a ham sandwich. But again, I'll tell you what, I was shocked. And then, finally, we get the entrance to Raw, Monday Night Raw. And they had the announce team come out. Um, I actually caught them, got videos of them changing the ring over for main event. And the announcing, so kind of good stuff. So again, it's fun to see kind of that, that backstage, behind-the-scenes stuff. Um, starts off, again, the Orton promo and Matt Riddle. So good.
Uh, there was a tease of the breakup. Then the phenomenal one, AJ Styles, comes out. He even mentioned, oh, this is just too sweet. So that's pretty cool. Uh, AJ Styles is just so good on the mic. comes out where he runs down Ben Corbin. First match of the night where it's Baron Corbin versus Drew McIntyre. people row their R's too. Uh, probably not, but who cares. Um, again, Corbin gets the jobber entrance. That was kind of cool. And that pyro. Oh, 
uh, it's just so much more professionally done. Has more of the stage effect. Honestly, Drew McIntyre's fire. From where I was, you actually could feel the heat a little bit. The temperature did go up for there, for for a little bit. Just saying, even Drew's pyro and special effects, it just was so much more professionally done. And it's such greater impact than when AEW had the poof, the exploding ring match. Because that was terrible. They have, the, AEW and Lissat might have to switch pyro companies. Who knows? Um, Corbin, so let's see here. Corbin gets a jobber entrance. Again, the pyro sounded freaking amazing. A um, little promo there right after Cor uh, Drew goes right after Corbin. Feel sorry for him a little bit. A lot of outside the ring stuff. So I tried to get what I could. Uh, Drew is just way too strong, Baron Corbin. He has his moves set, though. Ouch, Drew posted himself. Again, just head first. That was good. I'll tell you what. The Jacksonville crowd, they might be able to count to 15. But the Orlando crowd, they can actually count to 20. The Jacksonville, again, 15 versus 20. Yeah. Orlando crowd's a little smarter, at least. That's pretty good. And, then of course, Houston. Well, that's a whole other issue. I mentioned that later. Um, Baron hit a big suplex. That was fun. Um, True says, you know what? I won't give you $100,000. I won't give you $200,000. I'll give you $300,000. Clay more time. This 
must be a commercial. Oh wow. Well, that seems perfectly reasonable. How about two hundred thousand dollars? How about three hundred thousand dollars? Three, two. Of course, the winner was Drew McIntyre. Solid match to start the show off with. I'll tell you what. It was just fun. The atmosphere was right. The crowd was really happy to be there. Maybe that added something to it. It wasn't raining. It was indoors. It was, um, the seats were okay. I think my butt hurt a little bit towards the end. But if you, if you sit down for, geez, a good solid four hours... Yeah, your butt's going to hurt a little bit. I'll tell you what, solid cheeseburger match. And then they had the backstage segments. I, I didn't want to videotape these. I don't want any more copyright stuff. So that was pretty cool, though. Uh, people go absolutely bonkers. Jeff Hardy showed up. Boom. People go bonkers. The next match was Jeff Hardy versus Karrion Cross. I think they've kind of abandoned their initial plans where they're going to have Karrion Cross lose a lot until Scarlett Bordeaux shows up. But yeah. Uh, let's see here. Cross. He goes right after Jeff Hardy. This this seemed like... And I'm just like, are, wait, are these rumors about Scarlett Bordeaux coming true? Uh, Hardy, he can still fly, though. Cross, he has that classic heel tempo. The, the heel moveset. Always good to see that.
Jeff Hardy the float over his suplex. Jeff doesn't have a bad uh, carrying cross of carrying cross of the float over his suplex. Jeff Hardy not a bad suplex for himself. Um, again, Jeff's getting smart. He's realized I have to save myself. Does a second rope splash, which was fun. Uh, carrying cross hits the, puts the cross jacket. Cross jacket. Jeff Hardy has to tag out. Cheeseburger match. Let's see here. Then we have the Alexa Bliss segment. And you know what? One, she really, and with two drop. And then there was a chain of, we want Wyatt. And I'll tell you what. Alexa Bliss's theme music. WWE better be careful about stuff. They're about this far away from getting their own copyright violation. Because that sounds like the old Beetlejuice theme song. Something, something, I shall name three times. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Yeah. But that whole theme. da 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 well, I, I play that, the electric mix for, for my Halloween stuff, so I'm good like that. But yeah, it was Alexa Bliss versus Dewdrop.
And with this, Dewdrop was actually in control for most, most, most of the match. I don't realize how tiny Alexa Bliss is. <laughs> you never realize how small some of these pro wrestlers are until you see them in real life. Dewdrop looks like her size and weight. Alexa Bliss in real life just looks tiny. And I know she had, like, health and eating and, and body issues. But, man, she's still just short and small looking. Um, kind of classic, um, Alexa Bliss was trying to no-sell. Dewdrop's way too big and too strong, though. Dewdrop looks into the doll, and it was really hard to see from the screen because you kind of really have to ha have your head on swivel because you're focused on the action. You're like, huh? Wait, what happened? Oh, you go up to the screen. I'm like, oh, the doll winked? Why was the doll up on the screen? So, yeah, that's the only bad thing. Um, the doll winked that kind of freaked Dewdrop out. Meh. You know what? Ham sandwich of a match. Then Sheamus came out with Miz and Morrison in the back. Um, and this led to the match between Sheamus and Ricochet.
this was fun. This is like, I think they're finally taking the restraints off Ricochet and just saying, hey, go be Prince Puma out there. That's what that's the Ricochet we need. Uh, classic stuff. Um, Sheamus controlled the pacing of the match. Slowish. I'll tell you what, Ricochet, he can put so many different moves together. This combo, hyper combo. This video is gonna take me a while. To... Oh wait, that's not too bad. Yeah, this video is gonna take like some time. Now, Seamus again, classic heel, very slow heel style. Ricochet, you can see, see he's so good. He does all the flippy stuff you want to see. Um, yep, he gets beat up when grounded though. Very traditional match. Uh, Seamus jaws with the crowd. That's uh, he toys with the crowd. Oh, you want to count one, two? Ha ha ha! I'm gonna stop here. Boo, boo! Oh, it was so fun though. I was like, yeah, that's right, baby. Again, being more the mark than the fan. Like marks, like a pr marks appreciate the work. Fans are, are just there for the show. That's probably the best, probably the best way to put that. Um, are you not entertained? Yes, that's great. Um, Ricochet, the Asai Moonsault was so pretty, though. Uh, Sheamus, again, hit the bro kick eventually. Sheamus wins with a bro kick. I can't complain about this match. Cheeseburger match. Then there was something with Damien Priest. Yeah, it was okay. And then we had Johnny Mundo versus Damian Priest.
this is where you, this is, the second half is where they really cranked up those fireworks. Um, Priest, again, he's, he's so stiff looking. Mundo is so much free flowing. Uh, Mundo hit, hit a neck crank. That's fun. Priest has the one kick. And then it went right into Juju Katami. That was amazing to see. Um, only bad news is is that they jobbed Johnny Mundo out again. Um, for that, I mean, that was, that was a little fun match, though. But yeah, the job. So let's see here. Stop this. Time out. Hello, folks. Welcome back. Where I'm the one, the only. I am a hobo, Tom. And you know what? I finally got a chance to at least start this video. So this will probably be a two-day project. comes out that's always good to see with the wheelchair and stuff chats it all up that's fun then we had Mansoor versus Ali backstage because uh, then we have T-Bar or Bone actually he's not Bane anymore because he's not wearing that goofy mask he looks like um, value dollar road warrior T-Bar taking on Mustafa Ali
this was fun. I mean, T-Bar goes right after Mustafa Ali. Ali, again, does all the flippy stuff. Uh, the flying from everywhere. So good to see. Again, when, when you have this clash of styles, this is really fun. It makes the match different. T-Bar is too strong, um, hits the good to sleep, um, and s um, so Ali loses. Um, I'll tell you what, you kind of expect a match with these two different athletes. I can see it going this way. It wasn't bad. It just seemed quick. Uh, still a cheeseburger match. Let's see here. It was, um, then uh, T-Bar and Mace, again, value dollar, road warriors come up, beat up, man, uh, they stay in the ring, beat up Ali, Mansoor makes the save, they leave. Uh, Reggie then has his 24-7 belt, and Reggie's parkour skills are utterly amazing. Like, I could, I would pull so many ligaments, the way the jacked up feeling in my back right now, that would not be good. Yeah. 
then I'm going to put it on you. And it's going to be so bad. Get you. Realize that, but just all the pyro though, so much pyro, and then we have Rhea Ripley taking on Nikki Cross. I'm not. I'm never gonna call her Nikki Ash. It's Nikki Cross or Nikki Glenn Cross. I'll tell you what, they're, they're, they're doing Nikki Cross a real disservice. They gave her the, the FPOS rib tape, the fat piece of shit rib tape, like around her midsection. And if you've ever had, again, if you've ever had broken ribs, uh, bruised intercostal muscles, um, stretched, torn, strained intercostal muscles, rip, ta taping things up pro actually makes it feel worse, I think. Because then you're just like stuck there. So yeah. The, the, the fat piece of shit red tape does not work on Nikki Cross. Um, this makes me real. Of course, Target said ribs. So. Suplex, though the big laid vertical suplex, Rhea's strong man, and Nikki is just still short. Nikki Cross eventually does make her comeback. Oh wow! Almost. 
I'm shocked. It just seems, this whole show seems so much quicker. Um, yeah, but I think uh, Rhea Ripley eventually hit some move. Uh, it was a ham sandwich match. Oh no, it was a dusty finish, baby. That's a dusty ham sandwich. Because you know what, Charlotte eventually comes out. sandwich match then up on the Titan Tron we see the first thing Elias burns the guitar we all we all want to go oh walk with a lot and it's like huh wait then we had kind of like the main event Randy Orton I hear voices in my head they keep calling me they counsel me I understand. They understand. So great. Like in all the pyro AJ Styles. Oh, versus. So Yeah, it's a little bit of a 
it. They go right after each other to start this match. Randy Orton hits a draping DDT, stomps on the hands. Uh, there was no backdrop on the table, though. That got stopped by Omos. AJ and his forearms. This was so good. Classic Orton and AJ Styles match. I'll tell you what, you put these two together. If, if they didn't have time constraints and have to worry about going home, going to the next stadium, if this was like a pay-per-view, this would be like an amazing match. But this match, phenomenal. was there. There's a big power slam that's good. The vicious headbutt. Uh, Omos, again, he pulled AJ Styles out. I'll tell you what. Ooh, yeah, that's right. But, you know, vicious headbutt. And then eventually the RKO. Surf and turf match. And then Matt Riddle comes out. Matt Riddle tries to talk to Randy Orton. He eats the RKO too. And the crowd's like, we saw two RKOs. Yes. And then, bam, bam. John Cena and then the crowd went absolutely bonkers.
Yes. The reason why they went absolutely bonkers is because John Cena came out. Um, he picked up poor little Matt Matt Riddle there. Orton saw him. We were like, are we going to see three RKOs? Three? Oh, no. But they all hugged afterwards. John Cena. It was John Cena. And this was really the start of the dark, the final dark match. The true main event of the evening. So we had John Cena and Damian Priest. They got Jinder Mahal and um, Veer. Priest, for the most part, got beat up a lot. Um, got body slammed by Jinder Mahal. Again, the cheating heels are so smart. Great heel work all the time. Um, doing everything they could to keep John Cena out of the match. However, after a lot of action...
yes, we did see the five moves of doom. Shoulder tackle, shoulder tackle, back body drop. You can't see me, fist drop. AA. John Cena and Damian Priest win. Crowd goes, goes home absolutely ecstatic. We saw two RKO's, we get thanked, and that was it. That was the Monday Night Raw. Um, eventually, I'm going to get this up. So, hopefully you guys can see at least most of it. I don't know, I have a sinking feeling that WWE's going to say, no, no, no. So, I don't know. Especially what the way they're being bitchy about it. The freaking six seconds of the promo for Andrade in Philadelphia. I, I, that's freaking ridiculous. But again, I'd like to thank everyone for watching. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. Um, I might be doing a lot more live stuff. I'm going to be missing some stuff because of work and, and, and stuff. Um, there will be some bonus videos coming out in a few weeks. But when Hobo Tom goes back to the races... Other than that, I'd like to thank everyone for watching. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Yeah, baby. I need a I need like boom and pyro and stuff. Not gonna happen on my budget though.